Hey! It's me again. So as soon as I'm getting back into exercise, I figured it would be prudent of me to reiterate some of the things I've said about exercise in the past. Oh, okay. First time I've done this one. Ooh. Okay, I can do this. So something I've said in the past is I don't give a shit about losing weight. I am fat. Like, that's just the nature of my body at the moment. And I'm fat for obvious reasons, i.e. passive lifestyle and a love of good food and snacks. And every doctor I've ever had, and I'm sure they're not wrong, has told me that losing weight would be beneficial to my health. Which, you know, it will be. <sighs> but, what I also know, oh, hang on, is that if I do this exercise, intending to lose weight, Specifically, I guess that's the thing I'm after, is the number on scale go down. I will fail. And I know this from like 15 years of bitter experience that every time I've tried to chase, you know, number go down. Uh, it has been utter failure. Because the moment you tie your self-worth, for one thing, and your motivation, and your self-regard, and the project itself. The moment you tie that to... No, I'm fine. The moment you tie that to the number on the weight, then you render it tremendously vulnerable to failure. Specifically, in the sense that the moment your weight goes back up, which it will do, because having a weight that fluctuates a little bit is natural for a human being, it becomes a kind of failure. That's new. I haven't seen a mimic in this game yet. There we go. Gotcha. Huh. And that just it leads to failure, or at least it does to me, over and over again. Because I've had successes, like where I, you know, managed to change my diet and exercise and stuff. But because my motivation to do that was tied to. Ugh. was tied to the number. The moment the number goes up, my motivation takes a hit, and I feel like a failure, and I feel like, you know, all my effort has been in vain, essentially, which of course it hasn't, but that's the feeling. You got it. And it makes... Oh, you want me to squat a lot during this one? Oh, God. Ow. Ah, water. Uh. So, you know, that's just... <coughs> that's just not a way for me to do it. So I've promised myself that I will not weigh myself at all while I'm doing this. I won't care. Doesn't matter. The weight isn't interesting. I'm doing this for my back. Success is when the back stops hurting so much. And I'm doing this for my my brain, my mental health. Which I know exercise helps my brain. But I will not chase that fucking number. Because it's unhealthy. Obsessing over body weight and BMI is just unhealthy. 
at least for me, I mean, I can't speak for anyone else, but it has never done me any favors. It has always been bad for me. So, all of this nonsense is not for weight loss. Something I wanted to bring up for anyone like who might be thinking of going on like a diet or some, you know, miracle exercise regimen or fad diet thing. Don't do it. Because they literally never work. Ever. At least statistically. Pretty much all the research I've seen on the subject concludes that, like, of the people who use fad diets and, you know, exercise retreats and all that stuff and stuff like, you know, the biggest loser and things like that, the vast, vast, vast majority of people gain all the weight that they lost back within like a year, and often faster than that. And that doesn't mean like you can't lose weight, it just means you can't do it with fad diets. You can't do it with quick and easy cures. Ugh. They do not work, Statist like, statistically it's like a winning the lottery situation. Where one in like a hundred thousand might have success in maintaining a changing lifestyle and maintaining a lower body weight. Oh. But the vast, vast, overwhelming majority of people don't. They relapse back to their old weight or worse. Because the only thing, like in terms of what lowers body weight, the only thing that really works is sustained lifestyle change. And fad diets and exercise regimens and stuff, they're just not sustainable. They just aren't. If nothing else, because they're so fucking expensive most of the time. But also just because, like, the human body is just not built to lose weight. That's not what the body wants to do. We're built to retain weight as much as possible for the lean times. Because we're still Neanderthals at heart. <sighs> so voluntarily giving up body weight is not something the body really wants to do most of the time. And so if you force it to go through these rapid transformations, these rapid accelerations and decelerations, or increases and decreases in weight, it just fucks you up. Completely. And it's unhealthy. Because, like, Having a steady weight that's too high is always better than having a weight that fluctuates wildly. Plus, like, compared to... Whew, compared to being overweight, like, that's, that's detrimental to your health, yeah, but it's nothing, I mean, literally nothing compared to stress and depression. Those things kill you. Like, they just straight up fucking murder you. Anxiety and depression straight up kills you. Like, no ambiguities, no, like, it kills you. It, it, it is murderous to have anxiety and depression and stress. And obsessing over your weight, obsessing over number go up or number go down, kills you.
Oh god, okay, this one's gonna be fun. Uh, anyway, that's, that's the point I was trying to make, is don't obsess over weight, because it's very bad for you. Exercise for your mental health, for your muscle health, like just in terms of, of having your mobility and having your body be able to do the things you need it to do. Those seem to be okay motivations. Those are the ones that have historically been able to keep me going for a lot longer than numbers assessment. Anyway, I'm going to go back to tormenting myself. Good lord, I smell. Ugh, sweat. I hate it. Ugh.